Hello, I'm Richard Ridge. Welcome to Broadway Beat. This week we begin with a visit to the new Broadway musical, Sideshow, currently playing at the Richard Rogers Theatre. With music by Henry Krieger, book and lyrics by Bill Russell, Sideshow is the story of the famed Siamese twins, Violet and Daisy Hilton, who work their way from a carnival freak show to international acclaim as featured vaudeville players. Though they were all the rage in the 30s, they are mostly remembered today for their work in two films, the cult classics Todd Browning's Freaks and Chain for Life. Never say you'll be the kind to ever keep one sweetheart on your mind. The kind that say they don't fall for the hardest of all. So never, never, no, never, 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 no, never, never, never say you'll never fall in love. Why don't you snap out of it, Dottie? You didn't do a thing with our act tonight. I know it, but I can't help it. Look, sister, you don't think you're the only woman that's been jilted by Andre? No, of course not. It wouldn't be so bad, but I still love him. And that's what really hurts. Don't let him know it, Dottie. Smile. Put on a good act and smile. I'll try this. Let's change and get out of here. No. Why? Not yet. I want to watch Andre's act. Oh, all right. Sideshow is directed and choreographed by Robert Longbottom and features Emily Skinner and Alice Ripley as Daisy and Violet Hilton. The original idea was Bobby Longbottoms. He's our director choreographer. And he and Bill Russell, our book and lyrics man, invited me to join them. And uh, that was five and a half years ago, February 29, 1992. And we've been sailing along since then. And you know, you have uh, speedy sailing, and then you have a, an obstacle when you stop and you start. And uh, since uh, Manny Eisenberg joined us a few years ago, we've been working on our show, making it better, finding things out we didn't know yet. And uh, it's now, what's on stage is a culmination of all that. Well, what appealed to you about the material originally? The heart in the approach. We agreed, the three of us, that it would be a heartful story and not a satire or making fun of or anything like that. And we went to the heart of the story, which is these two wonderful women in a very unusual situation and how they make their world work and how it applies to us as audience, how we all have something in common despite or with our differences. I just thought they were fascinating. And uh, my main source of research was a booklet that was put out when they performed. You could buy it at their performances. And it was uh, an autobiography written in alternating paragraphs, which went I, Daisy, do this, and the next one would say, I, Violet, do thus and so. And uh, it, whether that was factual, and it's hard to tell because it was promotional material, it's, it's difficult to know how much of it was actual truth, but it really resonated with me on an emotional level. I, I just thought it was fascinating as a story. Now, the undercurrents is so many things that go on in this show. I mean, you, you know, there's such a fine line between normal and abnormal and how you deal with that. So talk about some of the messages and metaphors that are in the show that you wanted to get across. Well, actually, I, I after a while, thought that, 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 that this metaphor was so big, the best thing I could do was to just get out of the way of it and tell the story and not try to overlay it with a lot of psychological symbolism because it's very rich just in it of itself and everybody brings their own definition of freakishness to it and how 
they personally are freaks uh, to this story and this metaphor. So I didn't want to load it with a lot of symbolism. I, I just thought it had a lot of resonance on its own. I'm Daisy, I'm Violet, we're Siamese twins. I'm to your right as you watch our show. She thinks she's always right. Not so. I'm Daisy. I'm Violet. What else would you like to know? Could you be separated? Have doctors examined you? In hundreds of ways. From our earliest days. Some think we could be separated. Some would love to try. Some think we would die. Well, I think I reacted the way most people react when they hear about the show, and that is, Siamese twins? Oh, geez. You know, I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't, I, I just didn't know if it was going to work. But then as soon as I met Henry and Bill and Bobby and the whole team and I heard the music, I was, I was stunned. And I knew that we had something really special, potentially really special at the time, and now it is actually very special. So. Now talk about what kind of research you did when you started to get into the project, of what you did for Violet and for Daisy to know what kind of person your sister was. Well, Emily, and I, Emily and I actually, Emily Skinner who plays Daisy, we read a lot of, we read a lot of things about Daisy and Violet. If you pick up any book about freaks, you'll find a picture of them and a little blurb. But what I found personally, and I think Emily would agree with, agree with me on this, is that most of what we found in black and white that we could read about them was propaganda. A lot of it was pop propaganda. I think that their private life, life was kept I'm having a hard time speaking right now. Their private life was kept under wraps for the most part, and the information that we found out about them was seemed to be very kind of, kind of just a little too well wrapped up. You know, Violet likes to read. Daisy is outgoing. Violet likes blue, and Daisy likes red. You know, those kind of things. Um, but but the basic the basic framework of their life is is pretty well known, and that is that they were born in Brighton, England. Um, they were raised in the United States, and at a very early age, they were abandoned by their mother. I think at their birth, they were adopted, actually bought by this woman that they called Auntie, who raised them. And from a very early age, I think like when they were four or five, they began displaying themselves. Auntie displayed them and charged people admission to, to see their link. And so they, they were accustomed to that from, from a very early age. And then they were discovered, kind of discovered by their manager and brought into the vaudeville circuit and became, you know, pretty well known. They, they played on Broadway. I'm starting to get letters now from people who worked with them back in 1940s, you know, that actually booked them in different theaters around this area, the tri-state area. Um, so that's pretty much what happened to their life. And, and our show includes that part of their life. And then, and then we take certain characters and subjects and, and um, kind of dramatize on them and make them kind of make them up. The show is not about Siamese twins. I think people think that that's, they say, oh, it's about Siamese twins, but it's not. It's about so much more than that. It's about the human condition. And, you know, Siamese twins are used as a metaphor for, for different things. Talk about the challenges of doing this eight times a week. <laughs> um, it's, vo it's vocally the hardest show I've ever done, I've ever sung, ever, ever. Um, so basically I do nothing during the days. Um, <laughs> I sit in my apartment and play with my cat and shut up. Because <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like singing a Vita eight times a week. It's, it's rough vocally. So In the rehearsal process, was it always the two of you working together? Because literally in the show, you're literally joined at the hip. Yeah. So yeah. talk about that. Um, Alice and I are, are joined um, not by, by any you know, physical contraption or anything. We just stand next to each other. Um, and that gives the illusion that we're, we're conjoined, really. Um, but we, we move about and we dance conjoined throughout the show. Um, and it's weird. People ask us about it now. Now it's kind of second nature. Now I wake up you know, in the middle of the night and I'll be like, oh, there's nothing there. Where's Alice? You know? people I think hear Siamese twins and go I don't want to say that and it is 
so far from, to me, about Siamese twins. I can only relate myself. I was a very uh, fat child, for lack of better words. And um, to me, the show is about anybody who's gone through life having had a, a finger pointed at them or a name called or anything that makes you or me feel unlovable whether it's uh, another person making us feel unlovable or if it's something about ourselves that we feel we're not worthy of receiving love. Um, I think it's a very universal uh, message and I think anybody that really comes with an open heart sees immediately it's not about Siamese twins and a freak show. It's about who will love me as I am, for, for who I am. Whether it's literally somebody joined to us or whatever baggage it, you know, that we carry of, oh my God, I was a fat child, do people still think I'm fat or all that stuff. Just basically seeing the freak within themselves and, and that song that ends the first act, Who Will Love Me As I Am, it's not like a, a plea, like a saddened thing. It's more of who will accept me for what I am, how I am, you know, because I'm, you know, that's what you're going to get. That's all you're going to get. Alice said on TV, I saw some interview with her, that she's at the end singing to herself the uh, I will never leave you, that it's, that it's the uh, synthesis of the two sides we all balance in our own psyche, uh, trying to find our own growth and centeredness and, and uh, uh, responsibility to our ourself uh, it was interesting it wasn't in, my wife saw it and, and said that that's ultimately what this thing is about it's not uh, the, the two of them represent one person and I think that's a, a, a beautiful uh, premise Skinner and Alice Ripley star in the new Broadway musical, Sideshow. It's inspired by the true story of the Hilton sisters, who became a vaudeville sensation in the 30s. The premise of the show is about the girl's search for love. People come to the show thinking it's going to be about Siamese twins and going to be about a freak show, and it's really about um, humanity. It's really about the human heart. It's about wanting to be loved for who you are inside, who, who your, your soul is, rather than physical appearance. Whatever you are, don't you want to be normal? Whoever you are, don't you? One of the ironies of this show is that people in the freak show are, are some of the most normal, adjusted people. Um, and the people who are, who are looking at the freaks, the, the normal people, are the ones with the most, the most hang-ups about other people and about themselves. Given the roles they're in, it's hard to believe these two actresses never met. People still can't believe that we're really not connected. Because it's unprecedented. Nobody has ever done that before. Even our peers and our colleagues, people in the theater, one of the first questions they ask us is, are, are there snaps? Is there yeah. Velcro? And I think that's really interesting because there, there are none of those things. And it's, um, it's a mind connection that we have together.